Alright, 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 here we go, back again on the other side of the coin. Alright, welcome back to the other side of the coin, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Yet another Chelsea news piece, obviously we've now entered the international break and it's going to be quite boring, so sometimes it's very interesting to talk about some of these latest Chelsea news and today we're going to talk about Ben Chilwell, ladies and gentlemen. There's an interesting development that happened. And then following that, there was another news about Ben Chilwell and it kind of both contradicted each other. And I wanted to see what you guys all think about this. Uh, Please make sure you comment about it. So let's get straight into this. This is the first particular tweet uh, that came out from Simon Phillips, but obviously it's an extract from The Athletic. It's an article written by Simon Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. And he stated... And this is basically, I, I read that article. I've actually got um, subscription to The Athletic and I read the article. Three quarters of the article was all about Timo Werner and how he was frustrated with his minutes and he's been working hard and so on and so forth. And it was literally the bottom part which talked about Ben Chilwell. And the main part of that whole section was this particular bit uh, of this tweet, which says, sources inside the Chelsea camp have suggested Ben Chilwell has been disappointed at his treatment lack of minutes but they also stressed he has reacted positively and concentrated on doing his utmost in training to show he should be selected more now when i saw this particular tweet i was a bit baffled by it because in the past few press conferences thomas tuko has come out and categorically said it's got nothing to do with ben chilwell or his quality or his talent it was purely because of his mental sort of situation at the moment. Post-Euros, Ben Chilwell, and these are words from Thomas Tuchel, Ben Chilwell Chilwell was apparently not mentally in the right frame of mind because after winning the Champions League, being one of the most important parts as well in in the Champions League, I mean, he locked down that left-sided position as, as a left wing back. He was putting in some really, really good performances as well under Thomas Tuchel and became a very, very good quality player under Thomas Tuchel um, in that left side and and kept away Alonso for large parts of of, at the end of that season, last season. So he was obviously in a high and he then goes to Euros thinking, okay, I've got an opportunity. I've just won the Champions League. But yet Luke Shaw kept on getting the chances for England and Luke Shaw absolutely nailed down his position. And off the back of that, Ben Chilwell didn't see any minutes. Obviously, he came back and Thomas Tuchel said that he wasn't in the right frame of mind. He had high expectation that he was going to feature for England. He didn't. Hence, it's taken a bit of time for him to fall in love with, you know, with the game again and find himself again. These are pretty much words straight from Thomas Tuchel. Yet, we then find some inside source leaking information to the athletic. And I, I don't know whether this is true or not because I find it very baffling. And I'll tell you why I find it even baffling when I show the next piece of news. You know, he it's saying that Ben Chilwell has been disappointed at his treatment. How can you be disappointed at your treatment when a coach or a manager like Thomas Tuchel is trying to look after you mentally because you're not feeling completely right about yourself, giving you the time to find yourself up again? I feel like that, that, you know, when a manager does that, that's fantastic. How could you be disappointed at your treatment and the lack of minutes? The lack of minutes was totally due to the fact that he was looking at your well-being. So that's my perspective on it. And then straight after that, there was this news. And this came from the Chelsea website, this particular extract. So this came straight from the fifth stand. So it goes something like this. I wouldn't say it's been frustrating. So this is Ben Chilwell, um, you know, being interviewed by the Chelsea website, saying, I wouldn't say it's been frustrating. It's about being patient, training hard, Marcos has been playing well, and I have respect that. I've been training hard to make sure when I get my chance, I'm ready. Ben Chilwell on lack of minutes this season. Now, you've got this particular tweet or this extract from the Athletic saying he's been disappointed at his treatment of the lack of minutes, but they also stress that he's reacted positively and concentrated on doing his utmost in training. And then this one straight from Ben Chilwell saying... I wouldn't say it's been frustrating. I wouldn't say it's been frustrating. So he's not frustrated. 
It's about being patient and training up. Like this extract seems far more in line and it makes sense with everything Thomas Tuchel has been saying. At the end of the day, we need to also respect the fact that Marcos Alonso has actually been playing well from the start of the season. He, he featured in the Super Cup. He did fairly good. Featured in the first game in the Premier League against Crystal Palace, scored a goal and was actually a very, very good player, one of the better players in that game. And since then, he's actually been playing well. Um, there was also another match. Uh, I can't remember exactly which one it was. I think it was Arsenal as well where he was all right. Um, overall, he's been playing good football, Marcus Alonso. Obviously, in recent times, there's a lot of us that, that was advocating for Ben Chilwell to start. And eventually enough, he got that start against Southampton. And he had an up and down sort of game. Got himself that goal, but at the same time, gave away that penalty as well. Very reckless penalty he gave away. And up until he gave away that penalty, it was... It was an okay-ish match. He wasn't absolutely lighting it all up. Um, he was making some good runs forward, um, putting in some good crosses as well. He was linking up well with Callum at times. But he redeemed himself, of course, with that goal. A really, really good volley. So this particular extract he straight from him, it kind of makes sense. And it's in line with what Thomas Tuchel has been talking about, that he, has, he had to be patient. Marcus Alonso was playing good. And he had to respect that. And now that he's trained hard, he's back into the team. And I'm pretty certain he should now hopefully see more minutes. Um, he sh I'm, I'm hoping that he starts against Brentford, that I don't think he's done anything extremely outrageously wrong against Southampton besides giving away that cheap penalty, at least redeemed himself with a goal. So I hope Ben Chilwell can continue on. My issue in this whole situation is why... The other journalists, Simon Johnson and his internal source, uh, you know, whoever's leaking this information, sources inside, what, it's a clear contradiction. You've got one saying that he's, he's disappointed at his treatment, and then you've got him saying it's been patient. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it's been frustrating. So what, why are the journalists doing this? I mean, why create this confusion that Ben Chilwell has been benched, you know, unfairly all this time. Why has it? I mean, where were where was all these you know articles when Ben Chilwell was getting benched at Euros and Luke Shaw was getting played all of it? Where were these articles? Why wasn't why wasn't any of the English media going after Gar Southgate about that situation? That oh, that's unfair. He, you know, Ben Chilwell has been un unfairly treated. He's disappointed. Where, where were the internal sources back then? Why is it that now, even after Thomas Tuchel explaining himself why he's not played Ben Chilwell recently, why are the media trying to create this confusion? That This is my issue, ladies and gentlemen, every now and then with journalism, and especially mainstream journalism like The Athletic, <clears throat> who are well-reputed uh, reputed, you know, publication out there. This, for me, is a clear sort of trying to create some sort of a division in the fan base. Chilwell has been disappointed at his treatment, lack of minutes. I mean, why? It, it, it only gives the sort of general public out there general fan out there, the impression that Thomas Tuchel has been unfair to, to Ben Chill, when in essence that's not been the case and Ben himself has been saying that. So let me know what your thoughts are, ladies and gentlemen. The funny thing is, he's actually now been selected for England. Uh, this is the latest tweet coming from Adam Newson, obviously uh, published by Simon Phillips on his page. Ben Chilwell is to replace Rhys James in England squad for the World Cup qualifiers against Andorra and Hungary. This is what Adam Newson said. Personally, I would have actually liked if Ben Chilwell stayed at um, at Chelsea and just continued on um, under Thomas Tuchel for the couple of weeks, um, you know, get some more training under his belt. But obviously, he's now called up for England. But I'm worried. I don't know if he's actually going to get game time. It's probably going to be Luke Shaw again. So I don't want him to get upset again going into England's, um, you know, squad and not getting the game time and just not feeling good about himself again. So... We'll see what happens. Apparently, he's now caught up against Andorra and Hungary. Um, but, yeah, I just find this whole situation quite strange. Ladies and gentlemen, you let me know what you think about it. I want to know your thoughts 
and your opinions on this particular matter about English media. What are they trying to do? Because two pieces of news, one from Athletic, one straight from Ben Chilwell, quite contradicts each other. So let me know what your thoughts are. I'd love to see those comments. Smash the like button if, you're, uh, if you've enjoyed this video. And if you're here for the first time, subscribe. Uh, we are less than 200 subscribers away from 8,000 subscribers. So let's get the ASAP. Uh, as I said, hope you've enjoyed this. And do look forward to more videos from me tomorrow. Hit the bell notification so you're always notified. Until next time. See ya.